Welcome back to another video, TechLift here. Today I'm going to be going over who the Xbox Series S is for. After some videos and some comments, I want to go over who this console is for. This might be kind of like an obvious video, but to a lot of people they're kind of confused. They kind of don't know what's going on, so I'm going to cover all that in this video. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right guys, so right off the bat, I wanna go over the specs. I know a lot of people don't really care about this. You just wanna know that you're gonna get quality, you know, video and picture on your games or movies. But some people actually like the specs. Some people wanna know exactly what they're getting because this might not be the primary console or this might be their primary console and they're at like a high level in terms of like gaming and uh, they take the stuff seriously. So I'm reading this straight off the Xbox website. This thing does do 120 FPS. Yes, this tiny little thing does 120 FPS games. Now this thing does go up to 1440p. That is its max resolution it has an upscaled 4k i believe but your tv has to be capable of doing all that as well now netflix and any tv will go up to 4k it's just the gaming that won't go true 4k but entertainment such as netflix you know streaming stuff it'll go all the way up to 4k if you want it to you just have to have a 4k compatible tv or monitor so you guys already know that this thing is discless it's a digital console on top of that it's extremely fast guys because it has a built-in and SSD it makes loading up games loading up movies whatever it is it makes everything super quick so that's a huge pro it does come with a 512 gigabyte SSD you know for the storage it's gonna give you about 300 and something gigs to actually use and store games on it's not that much it's gonna store about three entire Xbox X slash S games onto it other than that you're gonna have to get an external hard drive now I've gone all over all this stuff in my unboxing in my actual one month later review so if you guys want more details on that Go check those videos out but basically this thing comes with everything you need it comes with like three usb ports hdmi port gigabit port and it also comes with an internal storage expansion area so where you can actually get like an internal storage expansion which costs literally almost as much as a whole new console but that's all i'm gonna go over for the specs you literally just want to know what the quality is it's going to be higher than hd and less than 4k so a great little middle ground it is going to also do 120 fps so that's a huge pro that's basically all you need to know in terms Terms of the specs in terms of the review that i'm giving you now i want to go over who this is for so i broke it down into three categories gaming entertainment and web browsing so right off the bat gaming is the main reason why i bought this thing gaming is the main reason why everyone else is looking into buying this i know a lot of parents are looking into buying this i know a lot of kids that are saving up their money are looking into buying this i know just regular people that haven't played video games in a long time or that are you know looking to upgrade to the next gen console to play games are going to be the ones primarily looking at this so no Number one is gaming. The gaming is absolutely phenomenal on this thing. I have not noticed any glitching, any, you know, thing that has hindered me from playing this thing. It has been ridiculously fast in terms of the load times. The graphics have blown my mind. That's because I do have a 1440p monitor that I'm playing on and it looks amazing. And I don't even take advantage of the 120 FPS. My thing only goes up to 75, maybe 60, and it still looks amazing. And again, this is all coming from just a casual gamer's perspective, guys. Just your average person who comes home after a day of work and wants to play some xbox play some zombies with their friends etc now gaming is going to be the main reason you buy this thing the second part is entertainment now a lot of people have apple tvs they have roku's they have amazon fire sticks and that's their primary go-to for netflix for streaming you know movie sports whatever it is this also has that entertainment feature it's pretty much an apple tv a fire stick a roku all built into one single unit on top of that you can play games so entertainment is the second biggest factor it does have literally every app you can think of known to man on this thing now like roku's and amazon fire sticks don't have certain apps in terms of like you know spectrum or things like that you know to get the apps from your tv providers this thing has literally every single app this xbox in the household has been the only thing that was able to get you know our tv providers app on it to get things like peacock tv netflix amazon prime video esp it has so many apps you can also you know live stream you know the football games with nfl sunday tickets it. I don't even know if that's what it's called anymore. The UFC, all those sorts of things. So the entertainment aspect is another big selling point. If you don't really have, you know, like a Roku or anything like that, or if you do, and you just don't want to switch, you know, inputs or anything, you just boot up your Xbox and you go to that app and boom, it's easy to use. Now, with that being said, entertainment such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, all these different things, they do go up to 4K as long as you have a 4K monitor or a 4K TV. With that being said, this thing is perfect to have in your living room. You can just casually game, boot 
load it up and you're gonna have an awesome gaming experience on top of that if your tv is 4k you just throw on netflix you throw on you know football game ufc fight whatever it is and it's gonna go all the way up to 4k giving you awesome picture quality and super easy to use all in one place you don't have to fidget around with you know tv remotes or anything like that you literally just get your xbox remote powered up and you're good to go now with that being said the entertainment is the second biggest factor moving on to the third one which is kind of in the entertainment realm but not really and a lot less people are going to use this but i know my college kids and sports fans are going to love this feature and that is the web browsing someone commented saying that you can almost turn it into a computer i personally wouldn't go that deep into doing that i already have two computers so why would i use an xbox for that but basically being able to browse the web going onto you know your favorite website to look at a random video you know boot it up and you can show your whole family also let's say ufc fights on all my college students all my sports fans that don't want to you know get the pay-per-view i know you guys are going to be using this to stream it <laughs> crack streams buff streams all these places tonight is a big ufc fight francis Ngannou and brandon marino it is going to be a gnarly fight and a lot of people are going to be using their xbox you know microsoft edge to stream those fights and uh, that's a huge pro of having a console slash device that can browse the web and that can actually stream things and do other things outside of you know the xbox ecosystem you literally have the freedom of browsing the web now if you want to you know go on to like your favorite website and you know you're with your buddies in the living room and you want to show them you know this certain website you know maybe you're into like crypto you want to keep an eye on the crypto what it's doing etc you can basically do all that on here so it's a lot less used but i feel like still a good amount of people use that feature and that's a huge pro so the types of people looking into getting this thing if you're a casual gamer this is going to be a gnarly gnarly just console for you to get excuse my you know bro language and just putting into simple terms but literally if you are looking to just casually game at the end of the day this thing is going to be a beast it's going to be incredibly powerful it's going to give you amazing results in terms of like picture quality as well as you know just saving headaches because it's super fast to load up i know i don't want to be waiting for games to load up i don't want to be waiting for the xbox to boot up that's why whenever i got this thing coming off of the xbox 360 i was absolutely mind blown that's why i've just been so pumped on it in all my other videos literally the fact that you can boot it up and it's instantly ready to go that you can boot up a game and it's good to go let's say you jump in to a madden game and then your buddy wants to play call of duty you can instantly go back and forth with a quick resume feature this thing is mind-blowingly fast and it's freaking amazing now on top of that its size factor is awesome the fact that you can just pack this up in your backpack your everyday bag and take it with you to you know wherever you're going if you're going on a work trip if you're going on a weekend trip and you want to be able to watch netflix you want to be able to sneak a quick game in while your girlfriend or your you know your wife is getting ready you know that hour hour and a half that it takes them to get ready and you're ready in five minutes you just boot this thing up and get a quick round of uh, call of duty in with your buddies this thing is perfect it's uh, very discreet you can sneak it in your bag no one's ever gonna notice your girlfriend's not gonna get mad at you for taking it with you because she's not gonna know it's there <laughs> the number one person it's for the casual gamer next is for just families this thing is so simple easy to use and like i said earlier extremely powerful that for families it's going to be amazing it's also very budget friendly it's affordable coming in at like 289 at costco you honestly can't beat that for how powerful this thing is one because your kids are going to be entertained there's so many games nowadays on xbox game pass that the whole family can enjoy it brings the family together and on top of that just being able to watch movies netflix streaming events all those sorts of things in this one little machine it's a huge bang for your buck and apple tv will run you a hundred over a hundred dollars now you're basically getting one of those and a gaming console and on top of that like a little mini computer for three hundred dollars you cannot beat that this thing is insanely powerful next the last type of person this is going to be for is the crazy gnarly gamer that needs a backup system maybe you have your own little setup where you, you know you get down on your pc or the xbox series x or the ps5 and then you want to go to your living room and just chill and get a casual game on or just throw on netflix and kick your feet up or maybe it's the opposite you have you know this in your bedroom and use it for streaming and maybe getting a quick casual game in while still getting amazing performance amazing picture quality now again don't roast me in the comments saying that you know blah 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 but the specs this the specs that this thing's not that good if you guys want you know a hardcore gaming setup go to a different what? channel because they're gonna have more in-depth things nope. i'm your average regular person slash consumer that wants to just game at the end of the night that wants to throw on movies that wants performance and quality without sacrificing my whole bank account 
account and that's exactly what this thing does and that's basically how i can sum it up now if you are a crazy gamer or you are a high level you know game enthusiast you can still get pretty good results out of this thing i'm not gonna lie maybe you're an up and coming you know person that you know wants to start twitch streaming that wants to get competitive or you are competitive already but this is all you can afford i honestly don't think you're going to be very disappointed the only thing is maybe get like a legit monitor that you know will handle those capabilities but other than that like you're going to be good to go on this thing even if you're like a hardcore gamer don't at me in the comments that's cap. my personal opinion and on top of that you can hook up your mouse and keyboard like my little brother does that he's kind of crazy he's ridiculously good at video games i don't know why he hasn't started twitch but literally just watching him and the level he's at just blows my mind that this thing can do what it can do and uh so with that being said guys this console is for your casual everyday gamer for your families who want to you know bring the family together for the person who wants to stream netflix and live events and on top of that that gamer who's really competitive that's really into it maybe wants to start twitch streaming and is on a budget still wants that performance and quality without breaking the bank and this saves them a couple hundred bucks and they can put that couple hundred bucks into you know their streaming setup etc so that's just my opinion and i've absolutely loved this thing go check out my other xbox series s videos that i have on the channel and there's so much more to come on this thing with accessories and just tech overall so if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one tech lift out